This is 7 News at 6. He is a serial killer. Old nightmares relived in Spartanburg County. It was 21 months ago that three bodies and a woman trapped in a storage container were found after hours of searching by deputies in a Woodruff field. Today, search crews were out in the woods in Henry looking for more bodies. The common link, serial killer Todd Kolhep, who's already in prison for killing seven people. 7 News' Kirsten Glavin was out there as dogs and deputies searched for more victims. She is live tonight from Henry with the latest on how that search went. Kirsten. Uh, deputies were out here for nearly six hours searching the woods, but after a while said they couldn't find anything, so they called it off. Uh, this all begs a bigger question tonight. Was serial killer Todd Kohab telling the truth, or was he simply trying to make headlines once again, this time from behind bars? When it comes to the upstate's most infamous serial killer, it may no longer be case closed. Nearly two years after Todd Kolhep admitted to murdering seven people, the sheriff's office says he's now claiming he's killed more. I'm obligated to see if there's any more victims here, and if so, we're going to do the best we can to find them and then work it from there. Spartanburg County Sheriff Chuck Wright says that a documentary crew has been talking with Kolhep, who claims he buried two people, possibly pizza delivery drivers, off I-26 in Ennery back in 2003. 20 deputies, along with cadaver dogs and the film crew, were seen at the area Wednesday searching. Just knowing that we had seen them out in public and not even known. Scarlett Hinton lives in a house nearby and says she was shocked to learn what was going on. It's crazy not knowing, like, wherever you live, you could be close to where somebody died, and that's actually really scary. She says she remembers when three bodies were found buried at Kolheb's property in Woodruff back in 2016. Her parents' house just five minutes away. It's crazy that they had to open a case and just like dig up more dirt on a situation that should have been already put to rest. Kolheb has also admitted to killing four others at a superbike motorsports in Chesney back in 2003, bringing his total number of known victims to seven. Sheriff Wright spending his day wondering if there are additional bodies buried in the area or if Kolhep is just craving more of the spotlight. I really wish there would have been some more specifics. I wish that there had been uh, some more stuff we could have corroborated and I'd have felt better about it. And the sheriff's office says this will be the last time they come out here searching unless Kohep gives them new information that can actually be verified. Live in Henry tonight, I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. So Kirsten, Kohep said they may have been pizza delivery drivers. Do we know going into the search, did the sheriff's office have any missing people that would have fit that description? We did ask that question, and actually the sheriff did as well to his investigators. They said they combed through every list they possibly could of missing people and said they couldn't find anyone that lined up at the exact time he's claiming these two people went missing. So there were a lot of holes in the story from the very beginning. All right, Kirsten Glavin live tonight in Ennery in Spartanburg County. Thank you, Kirsten. Of course, the 